Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds. After a mountain of title matches and main events, John Cena absolutely earned the nickname Big Match John, a testament to his ability to pour out the win in even the highest pressure situations. No matter the stakes, Cena is always ready to step up and deliver in the ring. In fact, it seems like Cena even has an extra level he's able to rise to when the stakes are at their highest. And when Cena takes things up, a few superstars have been able to hang with him. But on the other side of the ring is a truly twisted individual, Karrion Cross. He's proven to be an absolutely cutthroat superstar who has a callous disregard for the well-being of his competition. He gets in the ring ready to maim his opponents. You say that like it's a bad thing. For Karrion Cross, it's not enough to just win matches. He needs to see his opponents broken. That way he ensures they'll never get in his way again. I think it's a sound approach that will serve him well in this match. More often than not, it seems like a John Cena... No, no, no! Oh, just completely off target there! I don't care how bold you are, missing on those kind of maneuvers will send you to a medical facility. A medical attention might be needed out here. That was a nasty landing. DDT plants then. Now, laser focused on the temple and back of the neck. Now, it is aggression, just pure brutality. Come on, easy. Planning on what to do next. No, no, no. He'll take things into the ring. He turns it around. A stalemate of counters. Reversal on top of reversal. Delivering the suplex. And he goes for the pin. And a kick out before even one there. A little over eager with that cover. Shoulder tackle. Boom! A forward smack! He is just really from that offense. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. You know, I've noticed some friction lately between these superstars. But you can't be friends with everybody. I've noticed the same. There's definitely something of a rivalry here. He's been placed in the corner now. Boom, right to the midsection. And he had Carrion's number there. Cross out of harm's way. Eye on the counter. Carrion Cross oh, with the doomsday Saito. What a savage attack from Cross. No regard for anyone's well-being. That cutthroat style serving. He's risking permanent damage. Try not to fade. Delivers a harsh elbow. Champion, man. And that was an 
efficient form of offense with that move. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. Looking a little out of it, up on that turnbuckle. Oh, this could very well be the beginning of the end. Another reversal, eye for an eye here. And now blood is flowing from the sinister face of Cross. And he said it for years, you want some? Come get some. After a hard-fought battle, what is he? What is he looking for now? Oh, Byron! It's a steel chair. And what's oh. the point of this? It was a great match, and now this. This issue is going to be over once oh, and for all. We got company. Thank goodness for him. This superstar better thank their lucky stars that he arrived because this could have been a lot worse. This is a oh, oh, into a flying big win. The celebration has begun. It's always great to visit the pay window, but a victory like this makes the winner's purse all that much sweeter. Swag. Byron, I didn't think it was possible, but you saying what you just did somehow. Oh. 
Introducing the challenger from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa! And his opponent from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 260 pounds, he is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Angelo Dawkins! Tonight continues the tradition of the highly coveted Intercontinental Championship. Its holder is frequently considered by many as the hardest working champion in all of sports entertainment. championship over the years between legends and absolute titans of his business. This match could easily be history in the making. Piercing the throat. And that definitely made solid impact. Oh! Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Stop after stop after stop. You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. The hit's adding up a little on the champ. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good position. Corey, we've seen Solo Sokoa get a bit hot, as it were, during matches before. He's a superstar who gets easily agitated and irritated more often than not. How do you think that's going to affect him here in this one? Well, hopefully, he doesn't let it affect him here, Cole. The last thing Sokoa needs to do here is be a hothead and have his emotions dry up. That could spell disaster for him. Cool, calm, and collected is the name of the game, and Sokoa would do well to remember that. He knew what was coming there. Dawkins is pushing back now. Prime opportunity now for him to get some separation and gather himself. Boom, Solo with a timely counter. Straight impact on the throw. Up and down, what a gourd buster. Boom! Big blow could be felt throughout the arena. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it, I'm out of here. in your arm. Taking that off. He had it scouted. Oh, man. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. He beats the count, and this one continues. Goodness. That hurt the shoulder. Solo must be getting phased by this attack. Solo needs to start reacting quicker. The challenger's looking shaken. Catches the leg. I trapped the leg into a belly to belly. Oh, that was impressive. What reflexes to stop Sokoa? Fly. Well, that'll leave a mark. What's he concocting? <laughs> Powerful suplex toss! Oh, just got thrown around like a sack of you-know-what. Turned that one around. Oh, 
This has become a monumental struggle for these competitors. It is down to who still has the energy and the resolve to put the pedal to the metal. This arena has come unglued. You can feel the foundation shifting with every turn in the match. And he fights it off. We are seeing something special from the champ here. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. Up high. Oh, Sokoa holding him at bay. Whoa! Hits him with the counter. Counter upon counter. Nice takedown. Stack for the pin. There it is. The champ has fallen. Safe to say things. Oh, he wasn't oh. expecting this. surely see here tonight every time that bell rings charlotte makes sure to remind both the competition and the wwe universe that she really is the pinnacle of the women's division and she's up against the always unpredictable shotzi who is an absolute cannonball once she gets in the ring yeah i don't know how anyone can keep up the type of energy that shotzi brings once she's in the ring she's full speed from bell to bell just a continuous rush on Shotzi here. Yeah, Shotzi finding herself on the wrong end of every exchange. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Charlotte is a superstar known for her imposing demeanor, for her streak of absolute dominance. With that in mind, what exactly is the key to success against her here, if anything? It may not seem it, but the queen is a mere mortal. She's not invincible, especially the more frustrated she gets. And if this match can go much longer without Charlotte getting the W, trust me, we'll see her frustrated. Nice suplex. She's starting to tire a little. Yeah, as the queen no doubt wanted to put her in her place a little more emphatically that time. Charlotte with the spear. Charlotte once again proving just why she is. The queen is looking to put this thing away. Figure four locked in. She's got a bridge, Corey. Figure eight on the way. Trouble in trouble. Tap out. She's got a tap. A tap. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Charlotte Flair. And that seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is going to be good. Just want to get. She wants. Knock out 
perfect, perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. <laughs> Just a different feeling. And his partner from WWE, The New Day. Enough with these guys already. It's the New Day. Byron, I know you have a feeling in you. A feeling of power, perhaps? Uh, yeah, Michael. The power of positivity is in full of courtesy of the New Day. You know, nothing keeps these guys down. It's probably their best attribute as competitors. Very true. New Day does love to roll with the punches. They'll have a lot to roll with tonight. All the way up and around the world. Crucifix head scissor. Agility like that, easier said than done, gentlemen. to the punch. And misses on the springboard. Able to get the advantage here. All the way up and around the world. It's a big head scissor. Now oh, aspiring offense from Ricochet. You have to love the innovative offense from Ricochet. Oh, what a shot to the face. Getting set up for something in the corner. Go, go, go. Oh, wow. Putting up a united front as this match continues. Draped across the top rope. Clubbing forward. German. Just pure dominance. Big time hammer fist. Showing out their deadlifting prowess and just tossing their opponent like they're nothing. And that assault thwarted Xavier Woods there. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Paul? Up and over! Momentum is running away from Woods here. Yeah, Xavier is in desperate need to find a positive spark of offense. Wait a second, wait a second! The monster showing off his superhuman power. Oh, Strowman slamming into the mat. Strowman looking to put this thing away. Braun takes him down. Braun should show mercy and just end. Slight grip on the trapezius muscle. This is terribly painful. Kick opponent goes down. Showing some great agility. And we just saw some serious offense. Braun is on the attack. This is what happens when you meet a monster. He deflects it right back. And that was a well-executed attack. Drop kick right on point. Ricochet looking to get the WWE Universe involved here. Wheeled a face buster. Xavier Woods turning to some mind games here. Look at this just. And there's the cover. The ref not even getting a one. How'd he do that? Boom! Kobe 
Kingston looks stunned by that. Strowman can smell victory. Oh, hellacious power slam. Is it enough to put one to He picks up the win. Here are your winners. Braun Strowman and Ricochet. And they pick up the win, thanks in large part to Braun Strowman. And if I'm in the tag division, I'm hoping with all my heart I don't come across these two in the future. the most dominant women's faction in WWE history. The following contest is a six-woman tag team match. On the way to the ring, the WWE termination of Aaliyah. And their opponents. And from Rio Grande, WWE. And from Knoxville, Tennessee, We have tag team competition getting underway with Theo Scott, Dakota Kai, and Bailey. And they'll have their work cooperating cut out for them here, dealing with Aaliyah, Raquel Rodriguez, and Bianca Belair. Quick tags and staying fresh are imperative in a tag match. The question is, which duo has a better teamwork to stick to that strategy?
Freaking Rollins has arrived. The outfits, the outrageousness, there's nobody. Like, accompanied by Rhea Ripley, representing the Seth Rollins out here, possibly one of the WWE's most scrupulous superstars. Scruples? You want to talk about scruples, Cole? It's funny how you're only concerned with scruples when it comes to the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. This is WWE. Few get to the top by taking the high road. Yeah, Corey, but we've seen few sink the depths that we've seen Seth Rollins go to. And in the other corner is Dominic Mysterio, a young star with a legendary heritage. When Mysterio comes to the ring, he's got a lot of proud Lucha Libre history coming with him. And Mysterio has been soaking up all that handed down knowledge like a sponge. It's been a key part of his rapid ascension up the ranks. Single leg drop kick caught him. And Seth Rollins is going for the cover. Looking to steal in there, perhaps. He is too fresh to have been kept down there. Quick reflexes from Dominic. Drops the elbow. He's lost some of his win now. No need to panic, he's still swinging. Oh my gosh, that don't stop anybody. Right on point. No! High risk, cross body. That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Completely render this leg useless. Stump puller leg snap. Very effective. The revolution knee finds the mark. Played by Rollins. Answering back. Boom, a forearm snap. Boom, straight forearm. He's struggling a bit here. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Holy moly, amazing display of athleticism. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Doesn't bode well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Ah, uh, Dominic gets cut off. Kick to the gut. Right around into a neck breaker. Drop kick. Well placed kick. <laughs> Setting up neck breaker position. Oh, fall to the back. Oh, just gouging the face. Ripping and tearing at the face. Prime example of working smarter, not harder. That's what I said. Kick to the midsection prevents the attack. Avoiding contact. And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Oh, straight to the floor. And that might have been too erratic of a decision to take such a high risk at this junction of the match. Must have forgotten what kind of match was going on for a moment. The ref still counting, might be a count out. He's back in so close to a count out. You do not want to lose that way. Rolling elbow finds its mark. Ouch. No.
back slide, shoulders down. He got the shoulder up in time. And the gear and finds its mark. A relentless continued assault from Rollins. Yeah, see, Dominic's opponent is capitalizing on his inexperience there. Looking wobbly in the corner. Dominic with a reversal. Dominic was getting beaten down, but he could have just changed the pace with that move. No corner being given by either competitor. You have to believe this was going to be decided by the smallest of margins. Matchup require a different mindset. A superstar must be prepared to go all out. He is a great. Here it comes. Rock bottom, rock bottom. Rollins may be laid to rest. You can feel the energy from the millions and millions all around. Them. You have to worry about everyone in the locker room that they're aligned with. The odds in this match can swing with or against you so fast. Punch right in the head. Oh, look at this. Oh, man. Inside out. The, the millions are about to experience it. Full head of steam. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. Did someone call for a superhero?
weighing in at 156 pounds, Akira Tozawa! Here come the ones. And at a combined weight of 493 pounds, Jimmy and Jay, the The Usos, Jimmy and Jay, ready to get this match going here. They've certainly made their mark of a WWE Tag Team division. There's no surprise, Cole. Their family legacy is deeply rooted in tag team action. The Usos proudly command the same respect that their father achieved in the tag team division. And while they pay homage to their lineage, they've also made it clear they're doing things in their own way. There's no questioning that with their uniquely wild aerial offense and their hard-hitting strikes, Jimmy and Jay have certainly cemented a legacy of their own. And if you're a team that wants to learn how the work is run, this should be a match to study. This is a match to take notes on. As a team, you always have to be on the same page, but in this one, you can expect to see teams on the same sentence. Oh, super kick finds the mark. And he gets the tag. Adding a level of insult with that kind of physicality. She's taken is starting to pile up. Oh, oh, driving the elbow. All the momentum has swung to Jey Uso. Yeah, can Zala recover from this adversity? Into the mat. Right, uh oh! Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Sharp punch. Now a series of vicious sounds in the turnbuckle. Stunts. You want to control the tempo. You want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. Placed into the corner. He finds a counter for Jay. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. And finishes up high with a knee to the jaw. Off into the pin. I think this ref might be a little slow on the count. I don't know if they're going to have any taste buds left after that. He moves just in time. Ooh, vicious right point. Vicious down the Things do not look good for him now, guys. But if anyone can jumpstart a rally, it is Tazawa. Popped up into the Samoa drop. Incredible. With authority. And the fight has been taken to Hurricane. A top row. is the one to put this one away for the team. The wrestling gods have truly blessed this union. I fully expect to see more showings like this going forward from this duo. Here we go. Explorer suplex from Orton. 
catches a punch. Oh. Side headlock applied. What a good measure. A knee smash. A no DQ stipulation means you have to throw your regular playbook out the window. It's not going to save you here. It's time to get extreme. You make a good point, Corey. Everyday offense just isn't going to cut it in this kind of match. And he saw that coming from Cedric. And that was a well-executed attack. Bam! Alexander firing up, trying to get something kinetic going. Looking for the Hurricane Rana. Incredible display of power. What a power bomb. Caught with a lariat. He's Ooh. heading back to the ring. Yeah, that could have been it right there. Sure, He's looking a little off balance. Someone beating the one count at this point. In the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Cedric looking to embarrass his opponent. Looking for something, anything under the ring. Bringing out that kendo stick means he is truly willing to go to the extreme. Viper in full control. Launches. <laughs> Thrown back in under the ropes. Oh, my God. Fails to connect on the springboard. Solid contact from the Viper. Set something else up. Strike. And he's out of there in a nick of time. Catastrophic damage on the back. Still in with a quick kick out. What is it going to take to put him away? Coming back in the ring. He's starting to struggle here. After lasting this long in a triple threat, it'd be a shame to take a nosedive now. Orton able to counter. as all three competitors after an amazing triple threat match. Triple threat matches tend to live up to the hype, and this one was no different, you guys.
Introducing the challenger from Hollywood, Florida, weighing in at 218 pounds, Dolph Ziggler! And his opponent, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes! It is the richest prize our industry has to offer. This is the WWE Championship. WWE Championship. Title match is now officially underway. History could be made. Regardless of which one of these men you're a fan of or you support, you cannot argue. These are two men with championship pedigree. You can't be in this position if that weren't true. Oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Basket. An impressive sequence from Cody. Rhodes is unloading offense here. He went right into that turnbuckle. Mud hole stomping. You can feel the resentment building with each stomp there. Oh, elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. Section. Right, Cody Rhodes once wrestled with a torn pick. Truly as tough as they come. How do you overcome that toughness? It's not an easy answer, but it is the true one. You have to outfight Cody. He'll stand toe to toe with you and throw hands till he drops. So just make sure he drops before you do. Able to elude it. Boom, oh, connected. Springboard! Watch out! Just a devil may care attitude on full display. Going for broke and it pays off. And that was offense with a purposeful purpose. Ooh, front thrust. Ooh. Into the barricade. And he gets set back into the ring. Cody Rhodes with his opponent, delivering the Inferno Breaker. Into the pin attempt. Two count, kick out, close to three. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? And Dolph got bottled up there. Cody Rhodes has his opponent right where he wants it. Oh, I that one busted Dolph open. Now that is why they're the champ. Cody looking to wrap this one up. Ziggler 
are sending his opponent a clear signal that he doesn't think they can hang. We have seen such a physical match from these combatants, and the wear and tear is starting to show. And now the time where the smartest competitor needs to take advantage of the situation. Needs to figure out the quickest way to end this. Sequence of reversals there. Looking to end this. Crossroads. The champ has his one in hand now. Is it enough? The cover. A kick out by the challenger, keeping the championship dream alive. This puts the pressure back on the champion. Can the champion respond with their back against the wall? You gotta wonder what more Cody has to do to put him away here. The WWE Universe ruined these superstars. Looking for here, oh my! Was mounted with punches and not producing a trampling. Ziggler just unable to stop this attack. Dolph's got to find a way to defend himself. He is looking to do some serious. for him in the